Aussie Animals Part 8 The Coastal Taipan, also known just as the Taipan, or sometimes Eastern Taipan, is the longest venomous snake in Australia and one of the longest venomous snakes in the world. One captive bred individual having a massive length of 2.9 meters and weighing roughly 6.5 kilograms. However, most apparently on average get no more than 2 meters which contradicts what I said in my previous Aussie Animals videos about them getting to 2.5 to 3.5 meters on average. Anyway, the coastal taipan is considered one of the most dangerous snakes in Australia due to the nervous nature of them and their tendency to snap at whatever might spook them. This has led to people who live in coastal taipan territory having the mindset of if you see one, kill it, and it being labelled as a very dangerous and aggressive snake. Though, like I said in my Eastern Brown video, snakes aren't as deadly as they're made out to be, and according to one book my father has on snakes, over 80% of people bitten by snakes are trying to either capture or kill it. So I highly recommend that if you encounter one, just leave it alone. However, if you are nervous about encountering one yourself, then one, too bad, you're in Australia, so there's other things to worry about besides highly venomous and agile garden hoses. And two, coastal taipans can be found in some northern parts of New South Wales, most of the coastal regions of Queensland, and northern and northeastern parts of the Northern Territory and WA. There is also a subspecies in Papua New Guinea known as the Papuan taipan, or by its scientific name Oxyrhinus scutellatus cani. The Australian one, or mainland coastal taipan, being known as Oxyrhinus scutellatus scutellatus. I hope I pronounced that correctly, and it also gives me vibes of that one gorilla species. Anyway, when it comes to venom, the coastal taipan is typically seen as the third most venomous of all land snakes in the world, with only the eastern brown and inland taipan beating it. However, if the Wikipedia page for the Central Ranges Taipan is to be believed, the Coastal Taipan is actually fourth most venomous in the world, though that isn't really much of a change at all, and the venom is still very strong, requiring only 0.09 milligrams per kilogram, though some sources say 0.106 milligrams per kilogram, but that's not much of a difference. They can also produce a fair amount of this venom, each bite injecting roughly 60 milligrams, which is nearly 50% more than the inland taipan, and a little more than a third of what the king brown injects. And they also have an easy time getting this into whatever they bite, due to them having the longest fangs of any Australian lapid, which measure somewhere between 10 and 13 millimeters on average. When hunting, they rely on their tongue to taste the air and their great eyesight. The coastal taipans don't just bite once, but bite their prey several times, just like their inland cousin. However, unlike the inland taipan, the coastal taipan will let go of its prey, whilst inland taipans are known to hold onto their prey. It's believed the reason coastal taipans do this is because some of their prey items, such as invasive rats or native bandicoots and quolls, have sharp teeth and claws that could cause severe damage to the snake. The venom, when injected, can cause convulsions, destruction of muscle tissue, paralysis, and internal bleeding, which are just some of the reasons they recommend you should give treatment to the bite as soon as you can. I'll also make sure to show something on screen listing other effects the venom might have on a person. Coastal taipans tend to go for rats, but do eat a wide variety of mammals, such as rats, mice, bandicoots, quolls, and juveniles in captivity are sometimes known to eat skinks. This is quite the opposite of the previous snake I covered, the king brown, which is known to eat mammals, birds, lizards, and even other snakes, and basically whatever it can get its mouth around. According to the snake book I referenced earlier, which is titled Australian Snakes, A Natural History by Richard Shine, roughly 95% of their diet is mammals, with the other 5% being birds. 
In comparison, the king brown diet is on average only 23% mammals. In captivity, coastal taipans live for 10 to 15 years, however it's unknown how long they live in the wild according to the Billabong Sanctuary's website. Breeding season goes from March to December but peaks sometime during July to October, with pregnancy lasting from as little as 52 days to up to 3 months and taking roughly the same amount of time for them to hatch. Female coastal taipans in captivity have also been witnessed laying a second clutch of eggs several weeks after the first, so experts believe this might mean that female coastal taipans can store sperm of males for periods of time. This also applies to other snakes I've covered, such as the eastern brown, which is known to also do this in captivity. And just like with pretty much every other snake to my knowledge, males have two sex organs known as hemipenes, which are used one at a time during mating season. I should have also mentioned this in my other snake videos. They can lay anywhere from 5 to 25 eggs with older, larger females laying more than younger, smaller females, though the average is about 11 eggs. Coastal taipans are also just like eastern browns, inland taipans and king browns when it comes to taking care of young, who they just leave in abandoned animal burrows or under tree roots in damp conditions. When the young hatch, they are forced to fend for themselves and are 30 to 46 centimeters long when they hatch, though I do recall reading something else that said 60 centimeters. Coastal taipans are currently listed as least concern, like all other snakes I've covered so far, and you'll probably find they'll continue to thrive due to being in a similar situation to the eastern brown, where they live in areas inhabited by humans, which means more mice and rats for them to eat. Anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Next will be the Australotitan video, so see you then, and happy 2023 to all of you.